Welcome back everybody. The big Versi. So that's from uh, Tom and George. And that's what we're gonna be using today to pull Ben through all that sand. Uh, right now I'm just gonna grab the snatch strap off the back of Grover, get it onto that, and then get down there and ready for, uh, ready for Ben. Right, so the plan for today, if you didn't watch last, video or the last video uh, we built we we built this road and then there is sand for about 200 meters at the end of the road to the bottom of the hill and then it's clay we were hoping that uh, Ben would have enough speed being on a nice gravel road that he'd be able to tip and then just keep on going but the sand is just too washed out that is just it's just a constant issue it's just constantly getting bogged what we've got uh, very Tom has been very kind and let me borrow his tractor the Versi that I'm in right now. I've got the snatch strap on the back there. Ben, you might be able to see his dust. It's just, he's just coming down the road now. So every time we get, he comes out today, I'm just gonna be hooking onto him and then just driving him nice and slowly through the, uh, through the sand. He'll tip his trailers and uh, yeah, then I'll pull him back through the sand, I guess. And then that's it. That's, that's going to be the day for him and me doing that. It is going to be 38 today, so I hope that we can get this done before it gets too hot and possibly a band gets put on. Uh, and if, other than that, Henry is out spreading gypsum and I've got all that hay to unload as well today. So in between my loads here with Ben, I'm going to be uh, going and spreading some gypsum. So that is the plan. No, not spreading some gypsum. What am I on about? I'm gonna go and take some hay. Gotta unload the hay. That's what I'll be doing. So that's the plan. if the angle there wasn't ideal but you get the idea of what we're doing just pulling him through you can just see how bad this sand is it's uh it's the main reason why i want the track here because our tram line just ends up being ruined and everything like that so having a nice track is going to be amazing and you can see what we're doing with ben we just he was in neutral i was just pulling him forward he tips and we're all happy so what i'm doing now and the reason i haven't wrapped the strap up is i'm I don't know what happened with my camera there, it started doing all funny things, but uh, what I was trying to say is uh, Ben was in neutral and I was just pulling him through, he's just dumping and um, I'm pulling up just here because in front of me you can see the sand here is, uh, well this is sand uh, and I'm going to hook onto him now and then just pull him through here onto the track. reason I'm doing it out in the paddock and not over there is I just, is the, the amount that I can reduce of driving there, the better. It's just gonna make building a road so much easier if we don't have massive washouts from us continuously driving through. So Ben's turned around up the top, coming back down and I'll hook onto him and pull him through. And then he's actually got a tire to change on his trailer. And so I'll go and grab the uh, shepherd with all the hay and I'll go and um, yeah, do all the hay, get that all off. Uh, before it gets too hot, it's gonna be 38 today. So yeah, fun. Now if you've watched the previous videos of when we've moved hay, uh, this is where we put it. But first we've just got to get rid of all these broken and crap bales that are all around. No doubt there'll be a few that will come from the uh, from this stuff that we've got, but uh, need to get rid of it all. We'll go feed it to the horses and then we'll um, yeah, bring in the new stuff. <laughs> we don't have uh, hay forks, um, probably should get some, but uh, 
So all we've got is the bucket and we've only just stolen it from Henry, you know, he's spreading. So uh, we're just going to give it a go, just trying to essentially backblade it, get on top of the top one there and just see if we can pull it back. See if that works. If that doesn't, then we'll probably just push these top ones off and then figure out another way to get these off here. <laughs> like a charm oh well we'll scoop them up and move them across and then we'll get those ones Three off, five to go. Hopefully he can just repeat the exact same process. One ain't bad. Got all that hay sorted fairly quickly and uh, we just got Ben on his way back down the road here. He uh, took a bit longer than normal because he had two, well he thought he had a flat tire, well he did have a flat tire but it turned out it was just a, um, a screw in the uh, tire so he just plugged it up and off he went so he didn't have to worry about, worry about changing it which was good. So uh, yeah, he's coming up for his second load now, um, we'll probably end up getting about four loads done today. And that should, that should see us out here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be able to get this road all sorted for him. But yeah, jump up in here, get the air con going because the, uh, the mercury's rising. It's currently, currently 32 degrees. Uh, it is meant to get to 38. We'll see if it actually gets there or not, but yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely we're getting there. The, uh, it's probably only going to be two more loads and we'll have him pretty much off the sand. A third would be ideal, but I don't see us getting that today. But yeah, it's coming along. It's, uh, it's working very well, just tying him like that, nice and steady, tipping off and then just picking him up again when he's coming across up top of this sand. It's just working very well. There's no rough, roughness going on in his gear and uh, it's making me a bit more happy. So yeah, tomorrow Henry and I will be dealing with all those rocks. There's so many rocks in this batch. I don't know why, but anyway. And uh, the road is still holding up pretty good. Uh, up here, 
where he's track rolling, it's all right. Where he is just here, this is him lining up to get in line. We are starting to sink a bit, but it doesn't look like it's gonna blow through. It just looks like it's compact into a layer and then that'll be it. So yeah, so I'm gonna go have some lunch and then uh, yeah, keep on doing this as the day goes on. Operating a drone whilst operating machinery just doesn't work. You need auto steer or something like that, it just uh, doesn't work. Even when I set it up just to sit there, you get issues. I had uh, SD card come up full, uh, so I had to switch to internal memory. So I'm assuming you've just watched it. You watched us pull him through the uh, the sand there. What you would have probably noticed is the verse, he was just bouncing like this. Uh, the sand is just starting to get so uh, so soft that yeah, it's struggling for traction um, and that's uh, actually a, a bit of a downfall to this versatile as it does bounce um, but yeah it's we got him through so we've only got to do two more pulls through there uh, he's going to do hopefully two more loads today and we'll have that done and uh, then Henry and I will get that uh, road sorted tomorrow and after that we won't need to come out here for any boggings so I'm assuming the uh, the number that I've got written down somewhere, that's the uh, that's the number of bogging. So whoever got that will uh, will have got themselves a hat. So we will uh, we'll see. We, yeah, he shouldn't he shouldn't anymore. But we will obviously wait until the end of uh, gravel carding before we announce that. But um, yeah, right. I'm going to go back to the shed and uh, find a job that's not going to make me melt. It is currently 35 degrees outside. I don't think we're going to get to 38, but 35 is still pretty bloody warm. I'm back at uh, getting the stalker off. Uh, so right now, what I just have done then is I got the uh, the plate off the back there, which is holding the tire in, and uh, this one here is still squeezing it. So what I might do, undo that one, and then I um, I can then just cut these hoses. I should be able to just lift it straight out because um, I've, I've undone the uh, the tape locks in there. Uh, I've still got the uh, the grub screw on that side to get this off but I figured it's probably easier just for me just to undo and get the actual tire off and I can deal with that later um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now now <laughs> an update on this truck the truck is always an update there's always something going on with it still hasn't left Melbourne uh, yeah I was lied to with uh, 
how uh, when it was going to be coming over so yeah that was a bit disappointing but it is coming over it should be here monday it should be fingers crossed everybody so <laughs> yeah let's see it should be here next week um and then i can actually start to order things get it licensed you know all that sort of jazz so anyway i'll just continue on with uh undoing this plate All right, as you saw, I've got that off. So this now is completely free. I uh, I was giving it just a go, seeing if I could uh, get this off without having to cut it, but I'm just gonna cut that. But I just got the text from Ben. He is now on his way down to the uh, to Hatton's there for the gravel. So I'll go and meet him, we'll do that. When we come back, chop, chop, chop. Back of the ute, up to the shed. And we'll give that a bit of a test. You know, make sure it's all good. And uh, yeah, proceed with uh, proceed with uh, waiting for the truck to get here, I suppose. And uh, what mode are we going to get to run it? Just cruising along, taking a bit of a different line this time, just to avoid that bouncing that we had. But it's working well. One more load after this, and that'll be us sorted. And uh, then we'll just make the road tomorrow. It'll be fantastic. One pump. I, uh, I've got a feeling that that's going to be quite heavy. I don't think I'm going to be able to, I might need to get the forklift. That's heavy. This might need to be a, uh, a Henry and me job. Now where do I go to have done that? That's gonna weigh at least 50 kilos. So, I might get the forklift, shim it onto a pallet and then get it over to the shed. And uh, here, it, here it is, off the, uh, off the old one, ready to go on the new one, whenever that may be. Uh, it's still got water in it as uh, when I spin this over. You can hear, but uh, it's still, yeah, it still seems pretty good. Still, I can still feel suction on the end. 
when I'm spinning that over. So that gives me hope that the pump is still going to be, you know, still going to be good. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'll go messing around, taking the plate off and checking in there. I just don't want to risk uh, anything happening uh, for those. Actually, I don't, uh, have I mentioned it before? This is from 1993, this pump. So uh, they don't actually have any replacement seals or anything like that. So <laughs> is it a good idea to be using it? I don't know, probably not, but yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's, that's gonna be uh, the video for the day. I still gotta go and move Henry in about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna move him to his next spot of gypsum. And I got one more load to do with Ben and then tomorrow Henry and I will make that road and Ben when we get him to do the tester down it this time he'll be fine and he'll keep driving so that's the plan that's the dream so with that I'm going to leave it there thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and as always I'll catch you in the next one